So first, what is managerial accounting? Managerial accounting is the practice of identifying, measuring, analyzing, interpreting, and communicating financial and non-financial information to managers for the pursuit of an organization's goals. Plus, I would like to emphasize in the definition, it's financial and non-financial, okay? Both. And the information is to managers. So managers are internal employees of the organization. So managerial accounting creates documents and reports to aid management in the decision-making processes to make Russian rational decision about how to improve the company's performance. So here class, the managerial accounting, this is a tool, a report, uh, to ensure that the management will be provided with certain analysis in order for them to make the decision. Okay? And let's continue. Managerial accounting encompasses many facets of accounting aimed at improving the quality of information delivered to management about business operation metrics. Examples are, ano yung mga examples na pwedeng uh, maging use ang ating managerial accounting? So the first one is information relating to the cost and sales revenue of goods and services generated by the company. Okay? Pwedeng pag-aralan niya ng material accounting. Second, information on total cost of production by assessing the variable cost of each step of production as well as fixed cost. Okay, class. We will study what is variable cost and what is fixed cost. Okay, so don't worry at this time. Okay? So we will study those two costs. Then third, identify and reduce unnecessary spending and maximize profits. Those are the three things that, the, the examples that we can apply managerial accounting. So why students study managerial accounting? Why you need to study managerial accounting as a student? First, to understand the information provided by an accounting system and enhance the use of managerial accounting. Of course, you are not the one engaged directly in the accounting system. It is the accountant. However, you have to know what can you extract from the accounting system. What information as an IE, okay, what information you may be able to secure or get from the accounting system. Next, to have a solid working knowledge of managerial accounting for future career. Okay, that's a straightforward thing. And third, to apply financial tools and techniques in making decisions and in maintaining an efficient, effective, and profitable business operations. Here, we will learn what are the financial tools and techniques that you can use to make an analysis. Okay, so you can provide a quantitative information in making a decision. Okay, third question that we will answer in this video, why businesses need managerial accounting? Okay, why? First one is that customers are placing increased importance on price and quality of service due to increasing competition. Nowadays, the uh, environment is very competitive, okay? So we need managerial accounting so we will be able to know how can we better provide service to our customers. And next, the industry is focused on increasing revenue, minimizing cost, and maximizing profit without reducing the quality of service. So businesses need accounting, so they will be able to evaluate, analyze, okay, uh, the existing situation for opportunities that could possibly increase revenue, minimize cost, thus maximize It's 11 o'clock. Okay. Next, companies plan of increasing growth of operations, that is, new and expanded products and services, 
So nowadays, you have to improve your product, your services. And uh, for you to grow, you need to uh, expand, okay? So these are some basic things why businesses need managerial accounting. And lastly, we have to answer lesson number four, which is, what are the objectives of managerial accounting? The first objective is planning to set plans and goals, okay? And with that, management accounting assists management in planning the activities of the business, okay? Next, planning is deciding in advance what is to be done, when it is to be done, and how it is to be done, and by whom it is to be done. So that is basically the meaning of planning. So managerial accounting assists management in planning the activities of the business. So planning involves forecasting on the basis of available information, setting goals, framing policies, determining the alternative courses of actions, and deciding on the activities to be undertaken, okay? Planning helps in the overall study of organizational structure with the use of budgeting, responsibility accounting, cost control, and internal financial controls. So planning helps in all of these things, okay? Let's move on. So the second objective of managerial accounting is decision making. What is decision making? To provide quantitative analysis of financial and non-financial data in making decisions. So what we are trying to say here is that the decision that we have to undertake is that it should be based on quantitative analysis, meaning numbers, okay? If we will pursue a certain company's goal, it has to be um, looking forward to a, a positive value in terms of uh, monetary value. If it, if it will increase profit, in, if it will increase revenue or reduce cost, then we have to make a quantitative analysis okay, for our decision. Managerial accounting provides input on the following how to start a new business, second, expanding or diversifying the existing business, then the uh, other information that can be provided would be whether labor should be replaced by machinery or not, whether selling price should be reduced or not, whether to export the item or not, and many more. So these are the basic examples on the uh, on how managerial accounting can provide input. Next, controlling to evaluate whether actual performance conform with planned goals. Okay, and in this, management accounting is a useful device of managerial control. Uh, what are uh, the things that we can consider under this? Organization is divided into responsibility centers, and each center is put under the charge of a responsible person. The responsible person will be engaged with the planning and budgeting and be required to execute the plans and budgets. Then, if, you, uh, if the uh, responsibility centers already have a budget, then they could actual, uh, actually measure the performance by comparing the budget with the actual performance. And if there are deviations, then uh, yeah, you can make certain actions how to immediately control. If it is a negative deviation, then you can make certain action of how you can control such deviation. Next, measuring the performance of responsibility centers will increase the effectiveness of the organization and thereby, thereby motivate the employees. So if we will be able to measure the performance of responsibility centers, 
this can, this can increase effectiveness of the organization. Fourth is safeguarding of assets to maximize the use of company's resources. So under this, management accounting is a useful tool in coordinating the various operations of the business to maximize the use of company's assets to avoid redundancy and establish an efficient and coordinated flow of operations. Okay? So in relation to safeguarding of assets, management accounting provides reasonable assurance regarding prevention or timely detection of, um, of unauthorized acquisition, use, or disposition, disposition of the company's assets particularly assets that could have a material effect on the financial statements. So through managerial accounting, we can uh, institute certain uh, controls in safeguarding of assets. Um, in particular, uh, detection if there are unauthorized use, okay? Or if there are unauthorized disposition. Okay, these are the things that managerial accounting can be helpful. Last is reporting to communicate results to users of information. Of course, if we have done the analysis, we have to communicate our uh, the results of our analysis to the end users. Since accounting is a technical subject and may not be easily understandable, Management accounting assists management in communicating the financial facts about the enterprise in a layman's term so that responsible persons may be guided, guided to a line of action to be pursued. So, plus, uh, accounting is uh, a technical area. It's a separate language, actually. But with the help of uh, management accounting, the management accountant can provide an analysis that will be understandable uh, in a layman's term so that the users, for example, you are a supervisor of production department and uh, if you are uh, worried or concerned about the increasing uh, cost of production, then the uh, accountant, management accountant can provide information that could be understandable uh, as a production supervisor so it can be explained by the accountant the required information can be made available to the management by means of reports which are an integral part of the management accounting okay so that's reporting and class that's it for our uh, topic learning outcome zero one and for lessons number numbers one to four and please send your quest questions to general page of ms teams so remember this class the only stupid question is the one that goes and asks so i'm really very very pleased if you are going to uh send your questions to ms teams Bye for now and have a wonderful day. Take your class and stay safe. Bye.